New to PowerPoint 2013 is the ability to change how you see the ribbon within the interface. So jumping back over to my computer, I've just opened PowerPoint and created a new blank presentation. Now everything in the remainder of this lesson deals with what you will see inside PowerPoint when working on a presentation. And as the title of this section suggests, right now we're going to start talking about the ribbon. Now the ribbon is nothing new if you've been using PowerPoint 2007 or PowerPoint 2010. However, if you have been using an earlier version than that, the first thing that you will probably say when opening PowerPoint is, what? <laughs> this is what this area is up here. This is what's known as the ribbon. It replaced menus back in 2007. And the ribbon holds not everything, but almost every command or action that can be performed in PowerPoint. Now all of those commands and actions are arranged rather logically, I think, into tabs and groups. So during this course, if you hear me say that something is located on the design tab in the customized group, this is where I'm telling you to go. Click on the design tab and look at the customize group. So tabs, there's the home tab, insert tab, design tab, transitions tab, and within all of these different tabs, you'll see them grouped into groups. Underneath each group will display its name for reference. So this is the presentation views group right here. Over here, master views group. And all of this is located on the view tab. And by default, these are the tabs that you have, what you see right here. Now, occasionally when you're working on an object, you may see additional things pop up on the ribbon. So if I click inside a placeholder box or a text box, you might see an additional tab appear up top. Look here, Drawing Tools Format tab appears. And these are all the specific actions that will apply to whatever it is I have selected. So keep a closeful eye. Things on the ribbon will change. And keeping an eye on that area will help you utilize PowerPoint till its fullest. Now, depending on the device that you are using, you may not want the ribbon displaying all the time. If that's the case, what you can do is minimize the ribbon. And I do believe the ribbon is minimized by default, but what you should see in the lower right-hand corner somewhere is a little icon. Mine looks like a little up arrow. Clicking that will hide the ribbon to give you a little bit more working room within your presentation. And again, you'll still see those contextual tabs appear and disappear depending on what you have selected on your slide. If you want to bring up a tab, simply click or tap that tab and it will maximize. The minute you start moving away from it and click elsewhere, then that ribbon will collapse once again. Now, if you don't like that, and if you're like me and want the ribbon showing all the time, you can pin the ribbon in place. So what I can do is click any tab on the ribbon, and now that little icon is changed to a push pin. Clicking that push pin will then pin the ribbon to your interface. Now you also have a keyboard shortcut toggle that will pin and unpin the ribbon, and that is Control F1. Pressing Control F1 will, in this case, unpin the ribbon. Pressing Control F1 again will then once again pin the ribbon. Now with all the tabs that you see here, there is one tab that is missing, and that is your Developer tab. By default, it is not on. If you would like to add that tab, what you can do is go to your file menu all the way down to options and click on customize ribbon. Off to the far right hand side you'll see a list of all of the main tabs created for PowerPoint 2013 and one of them is unchecked by default. If you want to see that tab simply check developer, click OK, and then now that tab will appear at the very end. And these contain some very advanced options such as macros and add-ins and additional controls that you can create. 
Now, none of these controls actually fall within the scope of this course. This course is just the essentials, things that the average person will need, and nothing on this developer tab is for an average user. But I just wanted to show you that there are additional things that you can do from the developer tab. That's how you turn it on. Feel free to explore.